Yeah, so good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the Physics 71. Uh, our discussion for today is a continuation of what we discussed yesterday, plus we will add some topics. So, so um, yesterday we haven't finished with um, conservative and non-conservative forces. So yun yung una natin prioritize for this discussion. And then today we will uh, consider another type of potential energy. So last time we discussed gravitational potential energy. Now today we will be discussing el elastic potential energy. And ano yung difference between elastic potential energy? Of course, medyo malaking difference yeah, with gravitational potential energy. First, yung forces magkaiba. Pangalawa, uh, iba yung merong difference. May major difference between EPE and GPE. GPE, you can arbitrarily set a y equals zero. EPE, hindi. Okay? We'll, we'll, we'll see more on that when we go to the discussion. And then we will generalize our conservation of mechanical energy to systems um, involving um, non-conservative forces. Remember, we have conservative and non-conservative forces, paano pag non-conservative forces yung nag access ang system? Definitely, it will dissipate energy. Therefore, conservation of mechanical energy is not true anymore. The mechanical energy is not conserved, but the total energy of the system, um, if we include the effect of that of these non-conservative forces, will still be conserved. Ang energy conservation, universal yan. It's one of the basic tenets of, of, of science, di lang naman physics, of science. And... Uh, Basta na take account mo lahat ng energies. What comes in goes out. So, conservation of energy is universal. Okay. So, um, without further ado, let's go to our outline. So, we first discuss conservative and non-conservative forces. And then we discuss elastic potential energy. And then finally, we, we discuss conservation of total energy. So, medyo mahabang objectives for this discussion. I hope I can finish it in time. Um, we first differentiate conservative from non-conservative forces. This is basically uh, a, res uh, a remnant of what we should have discussed yesterday. Medyo naparaming problems for yesterday, but again, this is important. Uh, we then calculate the work done by a non-conservative force. This is important, especially uh, when we go to systems with uh, non-conservative forces. So, ano yung magiging energy conservation law na lalabas doon? And then, we relate the elastic potential energy of an object spring system to the work done by the spring. So, similar to what we did uh, in gravitational potential energy, we motivate the definition of the elastic potential energy using the work done by the spring. The important word here is by. Okay? The, the spring does work on an object. Okay? Now, and then we apply the conservation of mechanical energy to analyze the motion of an object attached to an ideal horizontal spring. So ideal here means the, the, uh, the length of the spring is negligible and it always follows Hooke's law uh, and so on and so forth. And then we express the conservation of mechanical energy qualitatively and quantitatively. So uh, what happens in the system when, it, uh, uh, when, uh, when conservation of energy is satisfied? So what happens um, is there is a... Uh, change in the form of energy that's occurring on the on the system. Kaya nagkakaroon ng changes dun sa energy. Yung iba gumagalaw, di ba? Yung from nakahinto, gumagalaw, etc., etc. And finally, we apply the conservation of mechanical energy to systems subject to spring force and uniform gravitational force. We will also have an example, hopefully, umabot tayo dun um, with sufficient time na paano pag meron ng dissipative forces dun sa system. Anong mga, we'll, we'll, we hope we have that problem. We solve that problem. Later. Okay. Now, um, uh, as I said, we'll start with conservative and non-conservative forces. When you say a force is conservative, then uh, then the total mechanical energy is conserved. Obviously, kaya conservative. Eh. The total mechanical energy. If the only forces acting on a particular system are conservative forces, then we expect that the total mechanical energy of that system is conserved. That is delta E. Uh, the change in energy, which is the final energy minus the initial energy, it's equal to zero. And hence, um, the initial energy is equal to the final energy. And so um, if we let u, u1 and u2 be the total energy, potential energies of the system, hindi pa natin in specify dyan kung gravitational or elastic potential yan. It really depends. K1 plus U1 equals K2 plus U2. Uh, and therefore, the work done by a conservative force is equal to W plus minus delta U. I want to emphasize this um, idea that, that um, for conservative forces, you can define a potential energy function. For non-conservative forces, that's not true. Okay? Dun, makakapag-define ka lang ng U kung conservative ang force mo. Gets? Gets ba? So, and therefore, the work done by a conservative force is just the negative of the change in the potential energy function exerted by that force. Okay? Um, we didn't discuss this for this semester, but there is a relationship 
between the force of an object and uh, and the potential energy. That's actually F in one D in one D F equals minus D U D X. Remember, I said in the early parts of this discussion that um, in the in the our discussion with uh, of energy that force is a function of position. That's a consequence of having um, potential energy as a as a conservative force. So, hindi siya dependent sa time. The potential self, the potential that you can define is not dependent on time. Now, in 3D, since force is a vector, that's minus del. Where that, eh, yung mukhang balik na the triangle na yan, ang tawag dyan, Rachel. You'll, just, you'll see more on that when you go to math 20. So don't worry. So, yun. Nonetheless, there is a relationship between the force of an object and a force exerted, um, the conservative force of a system and uh, the potential energy on, on the system. So that's actually F equals minus D D X. Okay? And then, for example, example of these conservative forces include, of course, a gravitational force and the force exerted by a spring, which we will discuss thing, uh, today. Okay? Uh, nakuha ba to? Nakuha to? Nakuha. Again, for conservative forces, um, if there are no non-conservative forces, or I should say, if there are only conservative forces acting on the system, then the total mechanical energy of the system is conserved. Okay? Questions? May tanong? None. None. Okay. So these are some characteristics of conservative forces. The forces points towards the direction of lower potential energy. That's the reason why in, this, um, in, um, in the definition of force in terms of potential energy, it, it has a negative sign. This negative sign here is by convention. It's actually by convention, um, which is uh, more on the physical side of the of the system, implying that the force is pointing towards the direction of lower potential energy. Just like, for example, um, for example, if you have a, a cliff uh, and you have a mass so that's going down the cliff. Uh, so the potential energy, saan papunta ang potential energy? I'm sorry, I should say, so, mali. Mali, so, mali tanong ko eh. Di naman nagpapoint yan, scalar yan eh. <laughs> Saan papunta yung force? The force will go, di ba ang, ang weight ay downward, mg vector. Now, um, which has lower potential energy? The, 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 the one at the ground or the one at a higher, at a higher height? Huh? Sir, ground. Of course, it's in the ground. Therefore, this is a characteristic. We see that gravitational force is a conservative force uh, because, uh, it has one characteristic wherein uh, the force is downward and points the same direction as the direction of lower potential energy. Okay? Nakuha? Nakuha yung nangyayari? Yes, sir. Okay. Again. Now, the work that is reversible. So, therefore, uh, um, it means that uh, if you have a, 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 a particle, if you have a particle that um, has some displacement, tapos... Uh, Siyempre, when, when a work is done on a particle, siyempre, may force na mag-exert dyan, di ba? Uh, siyempre, gagawa ng work dyan. And therefore, it will change its... Um, uh, mag Magta-traverse yan ng some path. So, um, if you can reverse that work and say that, okay, if what if I traverse an opposite direction? And therefore, the work is reversible. And the sum of the works um, for the front trajectory, yung papunta, papaganito, tsaka yung paganyan, if the sum of these works is equal to zero, then we say that the, the force is conservative. And note here that all the works, all the paths here should be uh, considered. Hindi lang isang path yan. Dapat lahat ng paths considered. So kahit dumiretso ka sa sobrang layo na ganyan, o medyo malapit na ganyan, if kailangan masatisfy niya na yung total work done, um, this is for a cycle, therefore, babalik lang siya sa initial position niya, dapat total work and zero. Ang punto ay... Uh, Kahit anong itsura ng path, dapat same yung magiging total work mo. It's independent of the path taken by the particle. It's reversible. It's only dependent on the initial and final values of the potential energy. And it's path independent. Okay? Kaya medyo mahirap mag-prove ng uh, merong way para i-prove kung conservative or non-conservative ang sub -force. But we will not go to that. Ang point is that if you consider paths, if you want to show that some conservative force is, well, indeed conservative, uh, kailangan ipakita mo siya to any given path. Hindi pwede isang path lang. Kailangan lahat ng paths, path independent. Um, independent lang siya sa final check initial states ng, ng particle. Okay? Clear ba tayo doon? Clear yes, ba tayo doon? I hope this is clear. Okay. Now, um, for non-conservative forces on the other hand, of course, 
um, it doesn't uh, have the properties of a conservative force. That is, the total mechanical energy is not conserved, and the work done by non-conservative force changes the total mechanical energy. So delta E is not equal to zero, and hence delta E can be written as W other. Uh, I'll be using the notation WNC for this um, for this discussion. Uh, medyo iba yung magiging notation ko, especially um, when we go to uh, when we go to uh, to total energy. Kasi medyo weird yung notations na ginagamit ni ginagamit nyo sa Alvita Lecture Slides. I'll explain to you why in, um, later. And nonetheless, the point here is the change in mechanical energy corresponds to other work or work due to not some non-conservative force, WNC. Uh, some examples of that, it's, of course, frictional force is non-conservative, uh, obviously. Uh, hindi man reversible ang frictional force. Eh. Uh, hindi, hindi parehas, so except, for example, if, if this is a path and this is another path and this is another path, they won't have the same um, uh, uh, magnitude of the work done by the frictional force. Diyan magiging pare-parehas. Kasi iba-iba yung tatatinig itong particle. Even though the same yung initial tsaka terminal conditions niya. A and B. Okay? Now, so for example, you have frictional force, then also force due to some engine. Uh, of course, engines are, well, maingay yung mga engines, di ba? So it, um, um, it dissipates energy, therefore it's non-conservative. Uh, force that we apply, for example, hindi reversible. Etc. So these are some non-conservative forces, and therefore you cannot create or you cannot define a potential energy function for these types of forces. So, hindi ka makakapag-create ng F equals negative du dx dyan. Okay? Questions? So, may tanong? May tanong? Not so far. None. Okay. So 